Greetings, this is Bradford Donald Keller Townsend, and this is a Forward Research Reality Club book review. Uh, the author is Jean-Pierre Filiou. Sorry if I mispronounce his name. It's spelled F-I-L-I-U, and the title is From Deep State to Islamic State. The Arab Counter-Revolution and its Jihadi Legacy, a SERI series in Comparative Politics and International Studies. Uh, he is a professor at the Science Po in uh, Paris and has taught at Columbia uh, University as a guest uh, professor. Uh, I think he's back in France now. This was, uh, book was written in 2014. Um, several years after the uh, beginning of uh, the serious troubles in the Middle East uh, called the Arab Spring, and it wasn't long, I don't believe, uh, after the Paris attacks. In this disturbing and timely book, Jean-Pierre Filieu lays bare the strategies and tactics employed by the Middle Eastern autocracies above all those of Syria, Egypt, Yemen, and Algeria that set out to crush democratic uprisings of the Arab Revolution. In pursuit of these goals, they turned to the intelligence agencies and internal security arms of the deep state, in quotations. The armed forces and to street gangs such as Shahiba to enforce their will alongside physical intimidation, imprisonment, and murder. Arab counter-revolutionaries discredited and split their opponents by boosting Salafi jihadi groups such as Islamic State. They also released from prison hardline Islamists and secretly armed and funded them. The full potential of the Arab counter-revolution surprised most observers who thought that they had seen it all from the Arab despots, their perversity, their brutality, their veracity. But the wider world underestimated their ferocious readiness, literally to burn down their countries in order to cling to absolute power. Bashar al-Assad clambered to the top of this murderous class of tyrants driving nearly half the Syrian population to exile and executing tens of thousands of his opponents. He has set a grisly precedent, one that other Arab autocrats are sure to follow in their pursuit of absolute power. Uh, this was the first time um, I had read or, or heard anything uh, about the deep state. Um, it is widely uh, um, discussed. Um, the very first chapter after the foreword, uh, where in the foreword he discusses some young people and social media, um, how that was uh, critical in the uh, uprisings and in the agitation of the Middle East as young people using their smartphones and social media, used it to organize uh, flash mob type protests. But the very first chapter is Meet the Deep State, then Mythical Fathers of the Nation. Chapter 3, The Modern Mamluks for the Algerian Matrix. Chapter 5, The Rise of the Security Mafias. 6, The Global Terror Next Door. Chapter 7, The Story of Two Squares in Egypt. Chapter 8, Evil Twins in Yemen and Syria. 9, Straggling Palestine. And 10, The Tunisian Alternative. Uh, real quick, the deep state is the real power, which is the military industrial intelligence complex. That's the uh, state and military uh, police forces, the intelligence agencies, and the, the traditional uh, military, which work behind the scenes with a um, front of the elected government or the, the outer uh, government perimeter. Uh, the mythical fathers is that 
every country, he says, has sacred myths of, of how they came about. Uh, the United States, we have uh, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, in France, they have King Clovis and uh, General Charles de Gaulle. Uh, the Mamluks were uh, European, uh, mostly slaves, um, that were captured in countries like Ireland and Russia. Uh, southern Germany uh, on the coast of France and then brought to North Africa and then uh, in the Ottoman Turk Empire and other places uh, the Egyptians um, they ended up uh, having uprisings in both the Tur in Turkey and uh, Egypt and becoming the rulers so you had uh, Caucasian uh, rulers that had been former uh, slaves taking over and uh, govern the countries for long periods of time. Matrix is the woman's uh, womb, is where the Greek word derives from. So it's uh, where things are born or created. Uh, the rise of the security mafia. The mafia were uh, men that were hired by Norman, uh, French, and other uh, landlords that own properties in southern Italy and other parts of the Mediterranean um, that kept the peasants uh, in line through brutal force and intimidation and torture and murder. Um, that's what the mafia is. That's where it comes from. And they had to be secret or they might be killed by the uh, local population that they were terrorizing. So um, they tried to... Uh, keep their identity and uh, did a lot of their uh, work cloak and dagger uh, under the cover of darkness. That's how, what the mafia was for hundreds of years and uh, then developed into sophisticated uh, smuggling rings and had bribed uh, or had family members taking positions in local government that could uh, bring in uh, people, uh, tobacco without it being taxed and that type of thing. Uh, there were squares that refers to in Egypt where the um, uprisings occurred in these grib, big boulevard squares with you know um, monuments and uh, statues to famous people in those countries. And then um, it he goes on to compare in this book um, the different countries. Uh, I do not know uh, the validity uh, personally of some of the facts he posited. Um, I do not know whether, uh, personally, I wouldn't want to say either way whether Al-Qaeda is and ISIS and the, those groups are still under the control of the United States and the NATO countries uh, or if they uh, are the uh, rogue terrorist groups or some combination of both. Um, this book is really worth a read. I think that... Uh, Jean-Pierre does not get credit for coming up with the concept of the deep state. Um, I, after reading the book, put out a video and was one of the first people um, to mention uh, the concept of the deep state. It originated uh, analyzing countries like Algeria and Egypt, and then um, as people thought about it, they thought that many other nations around the world um, could also uh, be classified uh, using that term. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this book review, and um, I would encourage you to purchase and read the book. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.